Hello and welcome to yet another Optics Trade Review. I have a brand new rifle scope here today. This is Steiner Ranger 4, 3 to 12 by 56. It was officially uh, released to the general public today, 6th of April 2021. Before we take a look at what it has to offer, I want to talk a little bit about a company and how this series came to be. Steiner is one of the biggest producers of binoculars here in Europe, but they haven't been around for long in the in the rifle scope category. So the first rifle scope that they introduced, I think, was around eight to ten years ago. It was called Night Hunter. They placed they went straight for the premium class where it was difficult to compete with all the traditional optics manufacturers from Europe. And even though Night Hunter was a great scope, it wasn't that successful. We think that Steiner made a smart move when they released the Ranger series in 2015. They placed the series in between 900 and 1200 euros, depending on the model, and it was really a great product for this price class, both mechanically and optically. And it's no wonder why, it's, why it soon became popular among hunters, and it has been among the most popular hunting rifle scopes up to now in the price class of 1000 euros. At the time of the release of the first Ranger series, the biggest competitor was Zeiss Conquest DL, which was then followed by the Conquest V4 line of scopes in 2018. There were also some other competitors which also are popular even now. Uh, Minox and Doctor, which then renamed to Noblex, have some great competition in this price class. But no other renowned European manufacturers had a real competitor in this price class. They still don't. So it's it was a great move by Steiner to place these scopes in here. So now in 2021, six years after the release of the first generation, Steiner thought it was high time for an upgrade and here it is, the Ranger 4 series. Earlier this year, in January 2021, they also released the Ranger 6 series, which is superior to Ranger 4. Um, we have a bunch of reviews on the models on our YouTube channel, feel free to check them out. So those are actually a proof that uh, Steiner is again trying to go into the premium class of optics in the field of rifle scopes, of course. Okay, let us move on with the review. Let's take a look at this particular model here. So this is one of the four models available in the Ranger 4 series. This is the Twilight Specialist, the 3 to 12 by 56. We also have 104 by 24 for driven hunts, two, two and a half to 10 by 50, which is an all-rounder. And these three scopes, at least these three configurations, have already been available uh, in, the, in the first generation. We have a new scope, six to 24 by 56, uh, a long range, long range specialist, a very commonly used magnification range uh, in the last few years. It's popular because it's a combination of a big lens to garner to gather plenty of light and a magnification range that is uh, really useful, so 6 to 24. And we're glad that Steiner decided to introduce this model as well. It's a pity that uh, the stocking model hasn't received a successor, so the 2 to 8 by 42 is gone. We have no real stocking model in the series. We can only hope that Steiner will, will release one in the future. And the 4 to 16 by 56 is also gone, but it was replaced by the 6 to 24 model. I would like to point out all the improvements that the Ranger 4 series brings. So the first, let's first talk about the mechanical improvements, as there's quite a lot of them. They might not be noticeable at first sight, but after you use the rifle scope, you definitely notice them if you use the first generation. The smoothness of the magnification and the diopter ring are two of such improvements. They move much more smoother and give the scope a more premium feel. There is now also plus and minus marks here on the diopter for easier diopter setting. Then we have the clicks on the turrets, which are now further apart and they produce crisper sounds. The same goes for the, elevate, uh, for the illumination turret. And I think that especially the gloves wearers will be fond of all these upgrades as it's much easier to now feel the clicks and uh, go for the correct setting. 
The Ranger 4 3 to 12 by 56 model uses a different outer objective diameter than, uh, than the previous model, which is important to know if you plan on mounting a night vision or thermal attachment on the objective. The previous model had a diameter of 63.5 millimeters, this one has 64. So it's a little bit more of a conventional diameter and the adapter will also be easier to find than it was with the previous model. Also, I've noticed that the new models, uh, at least this one, are a little bit longer than the previous uh, generation. So I think about one or two centimeters longer. They also come with a redesigned reticle. The redesigned reticle can be seen here in the instruction manual. So it's still called 4AI, but it's a little bit different. So in the old series, the, the lines used to intersect in the middle and then the dot appeared uh, at the intersection when the illumination was turned on. Now the intersection has been replaced with a fine dot and there is a small gap between the lines here. So when you turn on the illumination, the dot in the center illuminates. Some will be fond of this upgrade, others not so much. Uh, I also noticed that the illumination is not as daytime bright as it used to be on the older model, but this isn't much of importance as the 3 to 12 by 56 is after all designed for dusk use not for daytime use. There are 11 illumination settings, just like on the previous model, and they're divided in, the levels are divided into two sections. So the first six uh, are for dusk use. The seven to 11 are a little bit more daytime usable, even though not strong daytime usable, as I already pointed out. And um, I like the fact that the dot can really be finely adjusted to, to the dusky environment. And this is what's the most important with a twilight uh, rifle scope. Then we have the turrets. I already talked about them a little. They're classic, so for hunting, capped, low profile. There are 60 clicks in one revolution. One click equals one centimeter at 100 meters. So we have 0 0.1 mil clicks. There is um, 11.6 mils of elevation altogether. 60 clicks, as I said, in one revolution. And you can also quickly reset them to zero by just lifting them up and pressing them down, like so. So this wasn't, this can only be done with tools on the previous model, so it's a step up. The reticle is in the second focal plane, uh, as is traditional for this type of scope. It's uh, 64, uh, 640 grams in weight, 35 centimeters in length, a pretty traditional uh, weight and length for this type of rifle scope. It is filled with nitrogen, so you won't have to deal with internal fogging at low temperatures, even down to minus 25 degrees Celsius. It's also waterproof. It comes with a robust aluminum housing. Steiner devices are known for their ruggedness and this rifle scope is of course no exception. Many people think that the Ranger series is made in Germany, but that's not true, they're made in the US. So the first and the second generation, the Ranger and Ranger 4, both made in the US. It comes with a 30 millimeter tube for mounting purposes. What's new is that Ranger 4 does offer the rail mounting option, but not for all models. The rail mounting will be available with the, this model, with the 3 to 12 by 56, and with the wide angle model 1 to 4 by 24. It's not available yet, it will be available later in the year. And I think that it's great that they added this option as some prefer, prefer rail mounting over ring mounting because of its many advantages. It's not typical for rifle scopes in this price class to be available with a mounting rail, but um, as this option is usually limited to rifle scopes priced above 1,500 euros, but I think it's a great thing to offer them even here. The, mo the, the rail is the Zeiss ZMVM rail and the rail models will be 100 euros more expensive than the standard ones. These come with a 10 years of warranty, just like the first generation. Uh, even if something goes wrong, you can still uh, count on the Steiner service to repair your rifle scope as they have one of the best service departments in this industry. It is often compared to Swarovski in terms of um, 
how great it is. What about the optical improvements? Well, there are some. Uh, the most noticeable is probably the field of, field of view, which has been make, made wider. At three times magnification, the rifle scope now provides 13 millimeters of field of view at 100 meters. Um, this is, I would say that the, the difference when compared to the first generation is about five to 10% in terms of field of view. The rifle scope also fares slightly better in the dusk compared to the previous generation. Uh, I think they did improve the light transmission rate. Even when you look through the, the rifle scope in daytime and compare it to the previous generation, the colors are better. You can already tell that uh, it somehow gets more light through the rifle scope when compared to the first generation. But the first Ranger was, of course, one of the best rifle scopes at this price point, intended for hunting, and the second one follows it, its example. The image is sharp, even on the edges, there is no tunnel effect whatsoever. With this model, the parallax is fixed at 100 meters, um, and as regards the scope of delivery, it comes in a box really similar to the first one, the Ranger series, so pretty identical, only that this digit four is here. It comes with a bikini cover, really basic uh, to protect your lenses. Also an instruction manual, which is available in many languages. The radical is displayed here and a lens cloth, of course. I would say that uh, it would be great if the Rivoscope would be equipped with, I don't know, flip-up covers, but they are available as an after-sale accessory. I'm not sure if they're, because the diameter of the objective tends to be a little bit different from the first models, it is difficult to fit the old models on the Ranger 4, but I'm, I'm, think that I, I'm pretty sure that they, Steiner will release uh, flip-up covers that will be designed for the Ranger 4 uh, models. In probably in the near future. The price is around 1,050 euros without the rail and it will be around 1,150 euros with the rail when that option becomes available. Okay, so we are now at the end of this, this review and I have a habit of pointing out the pros and cons at the end and I will do so now. The, pro, the pros, well, the optical quality is still great. Um, and for 1,000 euro rifle scope, this rifle scope really provides you a lot with a sharp image, um, great color fidelity, and also great line transmission rate, which is important for a rifle scope um, in this, at this price point uh, and for this purpose. I also like the illumination, even though it's not as day bright as it used to be, and the reticle has been redesigned, I think that you can still finally adjust it for the dusk environment, and this is what the illumination in such rifle scopes is for. I also like all the mechanical adjustments that make that make the rifle scope feel more premium, with the turrets, with the illumination control, magnification ring, diopter ring. Also, the look, the anodizing gives it a much more classier look when compared to the previous models. And of course, option of purchasing a rail model, not yet available, but this is something, a great thing to have at a price point of around 1,000 euros. Not many competitors offer this. Well, now if we go through the, the disadvantages, well, some will say that the four times zoom factor is a disadvantage because some more affordable rifle scopes are available with a six times zoom factor. But you have to understand that if you increase the zoom factor, you sometimes always decrease the, the optical quality. And so you have, this is just a compromise. If you wish to have a four times zoom factor um, perform as it should perform, so graded optical quality and so on, it is better that the, that the zoom factor is lower. If you have b a bigger zoom factor, then you have to adjust optical quality in um, elsewhere and that increases the price. The radical design, well, some will look at the radical design as a disadvantage, but some will also like it. So I can't really tell uh, for sure that it's a, a downside. But what I do think is that the covers could be 
of a little bit better quality at this price point, even though the flip-up covers are available as an after-sale accessory and they're not that expensive. So you, I definitely recommend you to get them if you tend to be clumsy with your rifle scope to protect the lenses. And this is basically it. So if you're looking for a hunting rifle scope that is intended for dusk use and you have a budget of around 1,200 euros, then this is perhaps one of the best choices out there still. This is also one of the most affordable hunting rifle scopes that is available with a mounting rail, will be available. Um, but to purchase it, you will have to, of course, wait a few more months. And I also forgot one thing, it, the, the ballistic turret will also be available. Now, this is perhaps an interesting thing for the 6 to 24 and 3 to 12 models. Um, they just, I think that it will be available in the near future if it's not already available. You just have to check that out on the Steiner website. Okay, thank you guys for watching. If you find this review useful, leave a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, of course, leave them down in the comment section below. Check out our other videos from made uh, from for Steiner devices and see you next time. Take care.